Anyways, let's open the floodgates. There is your code. And hello, Phantom Dragon Plays. No, Zuckerman, I love the that fact the that it still Jasper. says log into play when you change when you're picking like a sound effect. What? It's an interesting touch. It's like even if you've already used the code and you're actually got the slot, it's just as log into play when you got the uh, when you're picking the sound. Strange. Oh, well, looks like Gonzo's in along with Tough Sun, Shadow Hunter, Guy Man, and Rumble Roses. All right, slots are full. If you couldn't get in, you can still join the audience by using that room code on jackbox.tv. All you literally need, literally all you need is just any mobile device, your phone, your tablet, or any of that sort of thing, or your computer even. Just anywhere that can access jackbox.tv. And remember, if you've played this game, please set out the next one. The same goes for if you play the next game, please set out the one after that, and so on and so forth. Yeah, we wanna we wanna have let everybody have equal turns around here, so. Mm -hmm. That being said, oh, and well, thank you, Gonzo, for that one. I almost forgot. I shall book the bendy for you. There you go, my friend. What was I saying? Oh yes! Ah! Oh. Now, that being said, I'm going to be taking one from Pay's book, and I shouldn't have to tell you to keep it comfy. That is to say, no racism, xenophobia, politics, or any offensive shit in this game, please. That being said, let us play. Uh, I would like to confirm to the chat that yes, that Welcome, is indeed the real Jasper or is He simply changed his name fly. to that. Yes. No, it's not. I'm Cookie. Wow, eight players. No vacancies at this flea bag mo. I mean, four star resort. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. Yeah, you can play along for your own personal score, and you can like your favorite lies. Let's do this. Let's go. Round one. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. Here we go. So tough son, your turn first. Masquerade. Okay, here's your first question. In 1760, the man who invented roller skates made a dramatic entrance into a masquerade party in London by simultaneously skating and blank. Unfortunately, it resulted in him crashing into a large mirror. Now use your device hmm. to type a lie that might fool the other players into believing it. If you can't think of anything in time, use the lie for me button for half the points. Do it now. Oh my. Starting off strong, are we? Oddball one indeed, Moth. Stormy, waiting on you. Yeah. Okay, now find the truth and select it on oh your device. Oh my god. If one could skate and twerk at the same time, that would be quite the feat, wouldn't it? Certainly would. I don't even know if uh, roller skates have been around since the 1700s myself. Me neither. But, all right. It's news to me. Here we go. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Oh, that was a lie. It what it comes up. Just as I'm, just as I was thinking to myself that that might have been the truth. Oh no. my god! Oh my god! Wait, wait, oh! Oh yeah. And that. Wow! <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Well, apparently, 
apparently we weren't very good at lying that round. <laughs> they, they did technically say it was a party in the 17th century. I'm pretty sure they don't have boom boxes and shit like that back right, in that era. Alright, Stormy, you're up. I hope somebody clipped that. <laughs> oh, God. Um. Dolphin. Okay, here's the question. The 1973 thriller, The Day of the Dolphin, had the memorable tagline, Unwittingly, he trained a dolphin to blank. Write your lies now. Hmm. Welcome to the abyss. Oh, man. Welcome to the examining. Lightfire, this game is all about lying. That's really the gist of it. Nightmare! Good to see you, lad. Uh <laughs> To be fair, a few of them aren't too far off. Although Raise the Dead, I was gonna say, is kinda far fetched. Probably make an obvious lie, but screw it. Shit. Nice one, Shadow Hunter. And it was also. And Rumble Roses. Wow. Great minds think alike. Two of you said sing. Interesting. Use firearms? No. What? <laughs> Uh, nice dolphins one. already kind of do that when I'm being trained anyway. Not quite. Ooh, gotcha. Nice one, Stormy. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe the climax of the movie has a Secret Service agent jumping slow-mo in front of the president to take a dorsal fin in the chest. I need a bottle <laughs> of tequila. <laughs> and the rest of these lies <laughs> I'm My sorry? head is just not in the game to be understanding that at all. <laughs> it was apparently a B-movie. But... Oh, so Rumble shit. Roses and Shadow Hunter and Tide for the first now, and Lightfire, I will boob the bendy for you. As it's it's it was it actually, no, it was, oh, it was science fiction. It was a sci-fi sci thriller. That makes Spa. sense. Okay, here's the question. Due to a highly unusual months. service that they offer, the Gideon Putnam Resort and Spa in New York is informally known as the Blank Hotel. Type in your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Oh. A lot of very interesting answers on this one. Screw it! Let's see what everybody right, selected. What is on this one. Really? Gotcha! <laughs> Backbreaker Hotel. <laughs> Dang it. Ugh. Well, I got one of you. Eep. Oh! Nice one, Rumble. Wait, what? Oh, what? And the rest of the board goes unselected. <laughs> Interesting. I wasn't aware divorce was a kind of hotel, but all right. Going is giving Shadow Hunters answers some love there. Anyways, moving on. Round two. 
This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Use it in round two or lose it. Shadow right, Hunter, category. you're up. Gonzo, I'd say you're doing pretty good, lad. Drunk. Okay, here's the question. Sonica, we need you. In the 2014 you. Philadelphia Eagles game, a man outside the stadium called police after a drunk woman ran off with his blank. Enter your lies now. Sue the drunk lady, but lawyers said he didn't have a leg to stand on. Son of a bitch! I'm sorry. Uh, and we're done. Feisty. That was terrible. And evidently, we all are thinking alike tonight. I like that. Mm -hmm. Right, Rumble so Roses, category. you're up next. King. Okay, here's the question. King Charles the 14th of Sweden actually had a tattoo on his arm that read surprisingly blank. Input your lies now. And light fire, that's the thing with Jackbox games. You don't need to own any of the party packs to join us. Literally all you need is just your phone, your tablet, your computer, or any mobile device that can access jackbox.tv and put in the room code that you see there. And you're perfectly fine, Nightmare. Thank you again for the sub bomb. Hurry, hit the like for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, here are your choices. Uh... Literally all you have to do is just jackbox.tv. You go to that website, you put in the room code in the bottom right corner, and you'll be able to join the audience, or any of the main player slots in any games. Alright, so... Okay, let's take a look. I use my defib on this one, also. I horse the Queen of England! Nice one, Stormy. Too easy. Mother. Gotcha! Ooh. I'm me! <laughs> Jesus! Really? Well, yeah. Well, nobody picked the other lies up there. I'm starting to think that we all may know a little bit too much. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. I'm making. I don't know what you're saying. I'm making a wild guess. Because I used woke as fuck. <laughs> all right. Speaking of which, Rack, you're up. Hmm. Future. Okay, here's the question. SS Singh practices I the, I do love the way you use the, the back future by well, analyzing well, blank. Hmm. Type in your lies now. What? What was that? Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. We can see the future. Hurry up! Use a suggestion. 
question if you can't think of anything. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Hum. And also, I shouldn't have to say this as well because I noticed one of you there. If you know the answer to any of these, please don't smile. Chad, we're trying to play fair here. Doesn't matter anyway for the people that already guessed, it's too late. Yeah, for future reference, I shouldn't have to say this. Please don't spoil Let's the answer in the chat. Selected. So. Yeah, also, I'd like to point out that I said it earlier. Putting the answer in the chat doesn't count as contributing towards the game because, one, we don't have a bot that uh, integrates the game, and two, that's just spoiling and that kind of makes it seem like a dead game. That's not for 10. Never mind, I was bamboozled. If you, nice know, one if you know the answer or not. Gotcha, by the way. <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. But yeah, making it, guessing in the chat doesn't. It doesn't count as uh, being part of the audience. If you want to guess part of the audience, please actually don't jack up stuff in the the audience. <laughs> nice one, Rack. Are you serious? But it's the same fucking thing! It was the same fucking hmm. thing! Mm -mm. I see your future will have a lot of corn. Ew. Ew. Yes. Well, actually, uh, animal feces is animal feces. This is referring to human. Shit is shit is shit. It don't matter where it comes from. Let's, uh, move on from that one. Yeah, that was... Gee, thanks, game! I didn't know you were borderline going kind of against man, to the final fibbage. You have arrived Bruh. at the final fibbage. Everything rides on this one. Final question, and it's worth triple. Hello, Nelson. Anybody can win it. Take a look at your final fibbage question. The oddly named disorder that was discovered by British physician John M. S. Pierce in the 1980s. Hmm. Write your lies now. Uh, I should know this. I should know this, but I don't. So I'm just gonna I'm going I'm gonna bullshit my way through it. Emmy, what does Shadow's power level read? It's over nine thousand. What nine thousand? Okay, which <laughs> one's the truth? Um, I'm a little shifty on one of these. I think we know which one. Yeah. I can guess exactly which one. The least you could have done was learn to spell it. <laughs> Alright, well. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. Oh, you got me. Nice! Mm -hmm. yeah. Seems nice so one. obvious. Rumble. Swamp ass. Gotcha! It's the same thing. Really? Oh, Lamplitis. Yeah, I literally just looked at a lampshade in my room to come up with that name. <laughs> mm. Ow! Nope. Nicely done. Oh yeah, analyzing pool is not what tickers do best. Ah, no. shit. Is that it? No. Nope. Amphitism nope. was discovered much earlier. Yep. What? Nobody got oh, it. Holy shit. Exploding course. head syndrome yeah, was it. correct. Else's lies got picked. I would never have Damn. Well, we already know the t top two are going to be the ones fighting for it. And your winner is... Tough son. Tough son. Oh, wait, it's a tie. Wait a minute, there's a tie. Oh, well, well you know. done. Even if it was a tie. And the consolation prize of 28 likes goes to moi. Again. Oh, so technically went over. Okay. Uh, apparently, according to this, exploding head syndrome is. Yeah, I'm looking uh, this up. Hang on a second. Yeah. Exploding head syndrome. 
So a rare parasomnia in which affected persons awaken from sleep with the sensation of a loud noise. A parasomnia involves undesired events that come along with sleep. Exploding head syndrome has also been described in the following ways, a painless loud bang. So stress induced, basically, or, or something. Painless loud bang, a clash of symbols, or a bomb exploding. You hear external noises, but it's in your head. Yeah, that probably would do it. Gonzo. Yeah. Feisty. That sounds, hor that sounds horrible. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be anybody stuck with that.